Warfarin is a potent medication that is commonly prescribed to patients who are at risk of developing blood clots. Blood clots can lead to serious health complications, such as strokes, heart attacks, and deep vein thrombosis. While warfarin is highly effective in preventing these complications, there are many misconceptions and myths surrounding this medication that can cause confusion and anxiety among patients. In this video, we will provide you with the ultimate guide to understanding warfarin and its benefits. We will also debunk the five most common myths about warfarin and offer tips and tricks from experts on how to manage your warfarin dosage effectively. Whether you are a patient taking warfarin or a healthcare professional looking to broaden your knowledge, this video will provide you with valuable information and insights that can help you make informed decisions about this medication. What are blood clots? Blood clots are gel-like formations that occur when blood components, such as platelets and fibrin, clump together to prevent excessive bleeding. While blood clots play a vital role in healing wounds, they can become problematic when they form inside blood vessels and obstruct blood flow. This can lead to serious complications, including deep vein thrombosis, DVT, pulmonary embolism, stroke, and heart attack. Identifying individuals at risk. Certain factors can increase the risk of developing blood clots. It is important to be aware of these risk factors and take necessary precautions. The following are some common risk factors. Sedentary lifestyle. Prolonged periods of inactivity, such as sitting or lying down for extended periods, can increase the risk of blood clot formation. Age. The risk of blood clots tends to increase with age, particularly for individuals over the age of 60. Obesity. Excess weight puts additional pressure on the veins and increases the risk of blood clot formation. Smoking. Smoking damages blood vessels and promotes clot formation, significantly increasing the risk of developing blood clots. Underlying health conditions. Certain medical conditions, such as cancer, heart disease, diabetes, and autoimmune disorders, can elevate the risk of blood clots. Surgery and trauma. Major surgeries, particularly those involving the lower extremities or abdomen, can increase the risk of blood clot formation. Additionally, severe injuries or trauma to blood vessels can also trigger clotting. Pregnancy and hormonal changes. Pregnancy, especially during the third trimester, and the use of hormone-based contraceptives or hormone replacement therapy can increase the risk of blood clots. Inherited or acquired blood disorders. Genetic conditions, such as factor V Leiden mutation or antiphospholipid syndrome, as well as acquired blood disorders like lupus, can predispose individuals to blood clots. Identifying these risk factors can help individuals and healthcare professionals assess the likelihood of blood clot formation and implement appropriate preventive measures. Preventive measures for blood clots. Preventing blood clot formation is crucial, especially for individuals at high risk. The following preventive measures can significantly reduce the risk of developing blood clots. Regular physical activity. Engaging in regular exercise, such as walking, swimming, or cycling, promotes healthy blood circulation and reduces the risk of blood clots. Maintaining a healthy weight. Losing excess weight through a balanced diet and regular exercise can alleviate pressure on veins and reduce the risk of blood clot formation. Avoiding prolonged inactivity. Taking breaks from prolonged sitting or lying down, particularly during long-distance travel or sedentary work, is important to prevent blood clot formation. Stretching exercises or walking breaks are recommended. Smoking cessation. Quitting smoking is crucial to reduce the risk of blood clots and improve overall cardiovascular health. Proper hydration. Staying hydrated helps maintain healthy blood viscosity and reduces the risk of blood clot formation. Compression stockings. Individuals at risk of blood clots, especially during long periods of immobility or after surgery, may benefit from wearing compression stockings. These stockings help promote blood flow and prevent clot formation. Medications. In some cases, healthcare professionals may prescribe blood thinners or anticoagulant medications to individuals at high risk of blood clots. These medications help prevent clot formation or reduce the size of existing clots. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the most appropriate preventive measures based on individual risk factors and medical history. Treatment options for blood clots. If a blood clot has already formed, prompt medical intervention is necessary to prevent complications. The treatment options for blood clots include anticoagulant medications. These medications, also known as blood thinners, help prevent the growth of existing blood clots and inhibit the formation of new clots. The dosage and duration of anticoagulant therapy depend on the severity of the clot and the individual's overall health. Thrombolytic therapy. 
In severe cases, where the blood clot poses an immediate threat to life or organ function, healthcare professionals may administer thrombolytic medications. These medications help dissolve the blood clot quickly. Surgical interventions. In certain situations, surgical procedures may be necessary to remove or bypass the blood clot. These procedures are typically reserved for critical cases or when other treatment options are ineffective. Inferior vena cava, IVC, filter. For individuals who are at high risk of blood clots but cannot tolerate anticoagulant medications, an IVC filter may be inserted to prevent clots from reaching vital organs. This filter catches the clots before they can cause harm. The choice of treatment depends on the location, size, and severity of the clot, as well as the individual's overall health condition. Healthcare professionals will assess each case and determine the most appropriate treatment strategy. Understanding Warfarin and its effects. Warfarin is an anticoagulant medication that works by inhibiting the production of vitamin K in the liver. Vitamin K is essential for blood clotting, so by reducing the amount of vitamin K in the body, Warfarin prevents blood clots from forming. Warfarin is effective in preventing blood clots, but it can also increase the risk of bleeding. It is, therefore, crucial to monitor the dosage of warfarin and maintain it within a safe range. The dosage of warfarin is determined based on several factors, such as age, weight, gender, and medical history. The dosage is also affected by other medications that the patient is taking, as well as their diet and lifestyle. It is important to work closely with your healthcare provider to determine the correct dosage of warfarin for your specific needs. Factors affecting warfarin dosage. Several factors can affect the dosage of warfarin that a patient requires. These include age, weight, gender, medical history, and current medications. For example, older patients may require a lower dosage of warfarin, while younger patients may require a higher dosage. Patients who are overweight may require a higher dosage of warfarin to achieve the same effect as a patient who is of normal weight. Women may require a lower dosage of warfarin than men due to differences in body composition. Other medications can also affect the dosage of warfarin that a patient requires. Some medications can increase the risk of bleeding when taken with warfarin, while others can reduce the effectiveness of warfarin. Patients should inform their healthcare provider of all medications, including over-the-counter drugs and herbal supplements, that they are taking. Importance of regular testing and monitoring. Regular testing and monitoring are essential for patients taking warfarin. The dosage of warfarin can change over time, so it is important to monitor the patient's blood regularly to ensure that the dosage is within a safe range. The test used to monitor the effectiveness of warfarin is called the International Normalized Ratio INR. The INR measures the time it takes for blood to clot and is used to determine the correct dosage of warfarin for the patient. Patients taking warfarin should have their blood tested regularly to ensure that the dosage is within a safe range. The frequency of testing depends on several factors, such as age, weight, medical history, and current medications. Patients should work closely with their healthcare provider to determine the correct testing schedule for their specific needs. Tips for effective warfarin dosage management. Effective warfarin dosage management is essential for patients taking this medication. The following tips can help patients manage their warfarin dosage effectively. 1. Take warfarin at the same time every day. 1. This can help ensure that the dosage of warfarin remains consistent over time. 2. Keep a record of all medications and supplements that you are taking. 2. This can help you and your healthcare provider monitor the dosage of warfarin and ensure that it is within a safe range. 3. Inform your healthcare provider of any changes in your health or lifestyle. 3. Changes in diet, exercise, or medical conditions can affect the dosage of warfarin that you require. 4. Avoid excessive consumption of alcohol. 4. Alcohol can increase the risk of bleeding when taken with warfarin. 5. Inform your dentist or other healthcare providers that you are taking warfarin. 5. This can help them take precautions to reduce the risk of bleeding during procedures. Common mistakes to avoid in warfarin dosage management. There are several common mistakes that patients make when managing their warfarin dosage. These mistakes can increase the risk of bleeding or reduce the effectiveness of warfarin. The following are some of the most common mistakes to avoid when taking warfarin. 1. Skipping doses of warfarin. 1. This can increase the risk of blood clots and reduce the effectiveness of warfarin. 2. Taking too much warfarin. 2. This can increase the risk of bleeding and other serious health complications. 3. 
changing the dosage of warfarin without consulting your healthcare provider. 3. Changes in the dosage of warfarin should only be made under the guidance of a healthcare provider. 4. Taking over-the-counter medications or herbal supplements without consulting your healthcare provider. 4. Some medications and supplements can interact with warfarin and increase the risk of bleeding. 5. Failing to inform your healthcare provider of changes in your health or lifestyle. 5. Changes in diet, exercise, or medical conditions can affect the dosage of warfarin that you require. Tools and resources for warfarin dosage management. Several tools and resources are available to help patients manage their warfarin dosage effectively. These include 1. Warfarin dose calculators. 1. These calculators can help patients determine the correct dosage of warfarin based on their age, weight, gender, and medical history. 2. Warfarin tracking apps. 2. These apps can help patients keep track of their warfarin dosage and monitor their INR levels. 3. Warfarin education programs. 3. These programs provide patients with information and resources to help them manage their warfarin dosage effectively. Expert advice on warfarin dosage management. Experts recommend that patients taking warfarin work closely with their healthcare provider to manage their dosage effectively. Patients should inform their healthcare provider of all medications and supplements that they are taking and avoid making changes to their dosage without consulting their provider. It is also important for patients to monitor their INR levels regularly and make adjustments to their dosage as needed. Patients should be aware of the signs and symptoms of bleeding and seek medical attention immediately if they experience any of these symptoms. Frequently asked questions about warfarin dosage management. How often should I have my blood tested while taking warfarin? The frequency of blood testing depends on several factors, such as age, weight, medical history, and current medications. Patients should work closely with their healthcare provider to determine the correct testing schedule for their specific needs. Can I take over-the-counter medications while taking warfarin? Patients should avoid taking over-the-counter medications or herbal supplements without consulting their healthcare provider. Some medications and supplements can interact with warfarin and increase the risk of bleeding. What should I do if I miss a dose of warfarin? Patients should take the missed dose as soon as they remember, but should not take two doses at once. Patients should also inform their healthcare provider of the missed dose. Conclusion. Taking control of your warfarin dosage management. Warfarin is a potent medication that is highly effective in preventing blood clots. However, it is essential for patients taking warfarin to manage their dosage effectively to reduce the risk of bleeding and other serious health complications. By working closely with their healthcare provider, monitoring their INR levels regularly, and avoiding common mistakes, patients can take control of their warfarin dosage management and ensure that they are receiving the correct dosage for their specific needs. With the help of tools and resources, such as warfarin dose calculators and tracking apps, patients can manage their warfarin dosage effectively and reduce the risk of serious health complications. Thanks for watching.